What is up everyone? I'm Brian Castro, the beekeeping realtor, and today we're talking all about the real cost of buying versus renting. Which one's better for you? Before we get right in, take a minute and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any questions or have any specific situations you want to talk about in future videos, and let's just dig right in. So when you rent every single time you make a payment, it just, it goes away, it flies away, it's gone, right? But when you buy, some of that money comes back or at least works for you. So the first way is gonna be through your equity. Every single time you make a payment, some amount of that money pays off the principal, which gives you some equity in the home. The second way is gonna be through your property increasing in value. On average, most homes increase around 4% per year nationwide. Now we've had COVID where they've increased as much as like 20% per year, and there's been bad years too. But if we use just the average on this home, we're gonna say it's gonna go up around $30,000 in your first year. Then you're gonna get some really cool tax benefits. This is gonna be money you get back actually in your pocket when you do your taxes every single year. You're gonna to get to write off your interest and your property tax. Sometimes they let you write off other things, but you know, for someone that can afford a home like this, they're probably going to have in the neighborhood of $16,500 in tax savings. So if we take the $80,000, we subtract our $53,500 in savings, that gives us a total cost of around $26,500. And I know what you're gonna say, but Brian, what about repairs? Um, you know, the New York Times says that the average repair bill per year is around $6,000 for owning a home. Could be less, could be more. But even if we factor that in, we only have a $32,500 cost total for the year. And it gets even better if you do a 20% down payment. So at 20% on the same deal, you're looking at around $63,000 a year for your total cost. When you subtract the $6,000 that you're going to pay off in principal, the $30,000 value increase that you get in your first year, and around $13,000 in tax savings, it really only costs you around $14,000 in the first year. If you add on repairs, maybe you bring it up to $20,000, but that's still cheaper than just about any rental you'd get in town, and that's just in the first year. It gets better from there. So I know you're gonna say, Brian, I can't afford this, this doesn't apply to me. Well, hang tight, because whatever price range you're at, it still makes sense. So let's assume you're renting a two bedroom apartment. In town, that's around 3,000 bucks a month, around $36,000 a year. If we compare that to a condo that's around $600,000 with 3.5% down, 7.6% rate, a little bit of HOA fee, right? You're probably looking around $64,000 a year to buy an equivalent place. When we take away the $5,000 for principal that you're going to be paying off in your first year, around $24,000 that the value of the property is gonna increase, and around $12,000 in tax savings, your real cost is gonna be around $23,000, right? When we add in repairs, which are gonna be far less, let's say $4,000, because it's a condo, you don't have all the same repairs, your cost is only around $27,000. So even if your repairs are relatively high, you're still throwing away money by renting. So what do you think? Is buying worth it or is it not? Are these prices just too crazy? I'd love to hear your opinions all down below. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.